along with being able to see the waveforms of what's on our timeline, it's really important that we're able to tell the waveforms of our original source clips. This isn't a great clip for that. I'm going to switch over to a, I'm going to switch over to an interview clip. Let's close down this bin here. I'm just going to grab a, an, an interview clip. Let's see. We'll take, uh, we haven't seen too much of this couple yet. There we go. Up to now, all we've been relying on is our ears. And I couldn't really show you, we couldn't really get involved with waveforms until we had seen enough of the timeline. There's a magic switch on the bottom of the timeline. Normally, when we're working, we're thinking about the record side, our big image of our girl here, along with our timeline. I now would like to see the timeline of the source side. And there's a little tiny button in the bottom left of your timeline. It actually looks like the source side highlighted in black along with the source side timeline. I'm gonna hit this button in a second. And when I hit this button, I also want you to pay attention to the color of my playhead. My playhead right now is blue. When I press this button, we're gonna be seeing the timeline of the source side here. Let's clear the ins and outs. Notice the timeline is green. I really wish Avid had made the time the, the play bar here green rather than blue. But it, this is now the timeline for this side. We're going to hit this button a couple times. Notice my track patching is flip-flopped. Let's press that button again. This is your standard timeline. Notice record is on the right, source is on the left, just like we see up in the screen. When I throw this switch, they swap, they change. And now, just like we saw before, where we can open and close our track control panel, with my track control panel open, I'm going to option click my waveform, showing all the waveforms of the source side. And this makes it really easy for me to say, oh, they had a little sound bite here between this spot in point and this spot out point, making it possible for me to be precise about what people are saying or what sounds I see, I, I'd like, I don't have to rely just on my ears. And everything else that you've learned so far is, is still valid here. You can use the option key to make these tracks taller if you'd like. You can sit back and say, command option K for smaller or command option L for larger to make it easier for you to see these waveforms. You can actually edit like this, but I tend to, once I make a selection, press this button again, the source timeline, toggle source timeline. And now everything is lined up ready for me to make an edit of these people. So that's the source side timeline and it's why I find it so valuable.